Hi, it's Robert Knight from Losing the Wires again, and today uh, we're going to show you um, Office 365 and Microsoft Virtual Desktop. Desktop. Now, Microsoft Virtual Desktop is their um, desktop as a service that they run in Azure. So uh, I have a virtual machine in Azure running Windows 10. Um, this is all set up with uh, an Office 365 account, the same account that I'm using here within these applications. So what I'll do is I'll show uh, or demonstrate a uh, document being written uh, in Windows uh, via uh, Microsoft Virtual Desktop and that same document then being open in the mobile clients. Now the mobile clients for Microsoft Office work um, and run full screen and they provide a great deal of functionality on the device and we'll, I'll, I'll show this to you uh, as the demo proceeds. Anyway, here we go. Uh, I'm using a, a, a keyboard with um, a built-in touchpad. Um, you can just use a standard keyboard, um, and uh, you can use the touch screen. The, the uh, phone as a touchpad as well if you want to. So just logging in to the Windows Virtual Machine in Azure. So we're doing this over Wi-Fi. It's not the fastest Wi-Fi. We're using 802.11 rather than AC, so it's 2.4 gigahertz. But it gives you an idea of how responsive it is even over uh, a comparatively slower Wi-Fi connection. So I'm just going to launch Word. And we'll create, a, we'll create a blank document. So we'll just put some text into this. So Helps if I can spell. Um, and we can do some editing with this if we want to, as you can see all of the, the menus are available in Word as you would uh, have them uh, if you're working locally on a Windows machine, for example. So we've created our document in Word. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to save it. So let's just save that. And this will save it to OneDrive as well, so I'm going to put it there. I call it uh, test two. So I save that there. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign out. So and we're disconnected there. So what we should find now is when we launch uh, Word Mobile, which don't forget will run full screen on the device. We'll find that the doc that the document that we've just created, test two, is there. And what we can further do if we want to is we can do so we can do this, we can then save. It also saves on anyway, so that should have saved that. Um, we can come out of Word. We can go back into the remote desktop client. And of course, we can use the touch screen to interact with some of this. Um, as you're probably aware, Windows 10 isn't the best um, application for using a touch screen, but it does work. So here's test two. And and there we go. The changes I made on my mobile device have been synchronized up via OneDrive. So what we have here is we have the ability to edit or create and edit documents on our mobile device via DeX using the, the portable smart dock, which has a seven hour battery life in it. Um, we can run that, we can run those app applications locally on the phone, which will appear on the screen here. We can edit them, we can add and change to them, etc. And then either when we get into the office, if we're using uh, Microsoft Virtual Desktop in the office, or if we needed to do some uh, very enhanced editing where the functions aren't available in the mobile clients, we could go into Microsoft Virtual Desktop and actually do it there. Um, in some cases, you could actually go into the online versions of Microsoft Office apps and edit them there, where they do review, they do have a little bit more functionality than the, uh, the mobile versions. But the mobile versions are becoming increasingly functional. And for many people, they actually provide ample functionality for what they need to do, writing documents, editing documents, 
you know, reviewing documents, making changes, etc., etc. Even you know, and, and that extends across all of the, the applications, whether it's Excel, PowerPoint, mobile, etc. You can do a lot, a lot in these applications that you can't do, uh, that you couldn't do rather uh, in earlier versions of those applications. On top of that, you know, you're not constrained to the confines of a small screen. So you know, if you're if you've got some last-minute changes that you need to do to to uh, a presentation you're not really going to be able to do it just on the screen, uh, contrary to what some organisations might tell you. So, you know, having something like this, which at the end of the day, it's a, a touchscreen display with a back, with a big battery in it um, and a keyboard. So you get a two-in-one like experience. You can use it as a sort of large tablet if you want to. I've just uh, done a video about gaming on it and there'll be one about watching Netflix as well. So you can use it for all those good things, but you can also use it for productive productivity type applications such as this. So uh, that's a quick demo. So um, we'll just come out of uh, our virtual desktop now. We'll just shut that down. So same as you would do a standard Windows application. Um, and yeah, uh, there we go. This is Office 365 being used both on a virtual desktop, Microsoft virtual desktop and uh, the, the Microsoft Office mobile clients on DeX on a Samsung handset. This is a Samsung Note 9 that we're using here as you can probably tell from the backdrop. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Any questions, please put them in the comments section. Um, feel free to subscribe. Um, and if you like this video, uh, please, of course, like it. Um, and tell your friends. If you've got friends or colleagues who might be interested in this sort of functionality, please uh, let them know. This product's available now. Um, it was launched last week. We're uh, evolving it. Um, we're doing more, more videos showing what could be done with it. So hopefully those will be, be, interest, be of interest to you. Thanks very much. Bye-bye now.